Kevin Gary here and welcome to my weekly vlog. In today's vlog I am as always going over the events of the past week and what has happened in the Hearthstone world. Quite a few things have happened this week. The balance patch finally hit the live servers, the patch where Small Time Buccaneer was nerfed and the Spirit Clause. So now almost like almost a week in to the balance patch how does have it um how does it affect the matter uh, so far um in the beginning people were very uncertain people have played all sorts of different classes i've seen people play you know paladin hunter they thought yeah this those decks will be viable and a lot of zoo in the very beginning zoo has died uh, off a little bit now uh, when I was playing today, um, I think it is stabilizing. People will still test a lot of things, but I think in the next week it will stabilize a little bit more and it will go back to pretty uh, standard meta. What is very interesting, the m most important thing to point out is that the popularity of Shaman has went down in immensely. Like um, last month, I actually had about 50% Shaman popularity on ladder so almost every because I was forced to play shaman myself I I almost played only shaman mirrors all the time like 50% right every second game was a shaman mirror kind of crazy uh, but right now uh, my I can even pull this up you can see here in this window this is um, basically the people that have faced this uh, season I've played already 220 230 games this season uh, and in 130 games i faced yeah pretty much everything as you can see here uh 15 percent druids i faced three hunters in total which is yeah no big surprise uh, but yeah uh, pretty well balanced as you can see in terms of popularity um the biggest off of, on this charge uh, charts i can actually show this compared to last month um, last month it was 33% uh, shaman overall and it went up in like skyrocketed in the last day last days of the last season where it went up to 50% I had one day where I had 72% shamans that was like two days before season reset but overall uh, as you can see more shamans than anything else and yeah current season pretty well balanced so far and it's kind of nice to play on ladder where you can face a lot of different decks uh, a bit refreshing to the stale meta we had before yeah what else happened um trinity series we were submitting decks for trinity series with the new balance patch so we had like one day to figure out not even an entire day just a couple hours to figure out what decks we want to bring um so was working on the strategy for that as much as possible play tested some decks with uh, just saying and and i came up with a really good strategy for g2 and it worked it ended up working really well against them we beat, defeated them um, we could have beat them even with a better score if life coach wouldn't have disconnected in the one game druid versus mage uh, where we actually won the game pretty much because they drew poorly and tempo mage really thrives on the first turns and we had kind of like the druid natural and then we had a rematch and then um, we lost because they had the natural and we had to uh, yeah we got countered by that so uh, it worked really well but in the end we didn't manage to advance to the finals just because of the um, tiebreaker system so um, because we lost in the i think in the second week or third week we lost like one in six uh, that all that that was all pretty much what mattered for tiebreakers we there was no way to basically improve the tiebreaker even though we had the best win rate um, overall like we had the least losses in the series mm, like many weeks we won like 6-1 6-2 but it didn't matter how much you win it only mattered how many games you lose when you lose the series right and we lost with my with the strategy we go we win hard or we lose hard and that was really bad for tiebreaker so even though we had a 4-3 score in the end yeah, unfortunately mm, 
we didn't go through because Cloud9 lost and on the last day and we needed them to win. Um, besides that, yeah, a lot of deck testing on the ladder, playing some cups, uh, about to play another cup now. Um, else it's like kind of calm. Uh, I think people are uh, probably already started to travel to the to the global championships. I don't know if they're already flying to the Bahamas or when that is. It should be in the next two weeks for sure. Um, yeah, I'm working on some more decks. Uh, meta has slowed down for sure. Yes, in the very first days there was a lot of Pirate Warrior, a lot of Agro Shaman still, but it kind of slowed down a little when I was playing today. It wasn't that many Agro decks, but yeah, there's like a lot of Murlocs. I think that's like a new trend. A lot of Finja, the Ninja. And people are still like trying to put in patches in all their decks, but yeah, a lot very diverse. Mm, Druid is coming back a little bit more. And that's it for this uh, week's vlog. I think there's not too much else to talk about. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next week. And peace out.